A lot of you will ask, what is the most cost-effective way to take care of someone when they die? Burial or cremation? However, it's not as simple as that. You can have full traditional services with viewing and visitation and the funeral, and then follow them both by cremation or burial as your end disposition. But the service options leading up to that final disposition can be the same on either side. So you can have parallel costs all along the way until the end. Now in the end, after that funeral, here's where your costs are gonna differ. If there's gonna be a cremation, you're gonna have the cost of the crematory and possibly a cremation permit that a medical examiner has to sign. Then maybe an urn, burial of cremated remains, depending on what you wanna do following that cremation. Now, if someone's gonna be buried in a casket, you're going to have a burial vault, if the cemetery requires it. You're gonna have opening and closing of the grave, the grave, the tent, the equipment, all of that out at the cemetery. So you're gonna have more cost because of those items when you are going for a burial. You can do simple burials and you can do simple cremations. On a general price list, they're typically gonna be the same price. The only difference is that you're gonna have a casket with the burial or at least a shroud or something, whereas the cremation, you're gonna have a simple box, but it may be less than what it would be for the burial. But you're gonna have that grave space, the vault, the vault company, opening and closing, and we don't control those costs when they're at a cemetery. Those can be several thousand dollars that we put on our bill, but those are not our costs. So cremation and burial can be pretty parallel or can they be vastly different depending on what the path to get to that disposition is going to be. Check your general price lists, look everything over, but know what your options are.